Good morning, great citizens of Westboro, and welcome to the 2021 Westboro Virtual Memorial Day Observation. My name is Al Turnus from the Westboro Veterans Advisory Board, and I will be a master of ceremonies today. We have a wonderful program in store for you. Today, we honor all the men and, men and women in our history who answered the call in times of conflict and never came home. Those who paid the full measure of sacrifice to give us this, the liberties that we enjoy today in this great nation. It is the father who never, never coached, got to coach his son's little league game or teach him how to tie a necktie. The father who will never walk his daughter down the aisle. It is the mother who will never help her daughter pick out a wedding dress or watch her son grow, in, grow into a man. It is the men and women who will never experience the joy of marriage or parenthood. It is these people to whom we owe an unending debt of gratitude. To start the program, Westboro High School a cappella group members only will sing the national anthem. Was a wonderful rendition. Thank you, gentlemen. Now, Lieutenant Colonel U.S. Marine Corps retired Jim Tepper from the Veterans Advisory Board will read Logan's orders. Good morning. General Orders Number 11, Headquarters Grant Army of the Republic, Washington, D.C., May 5, 1868. One. The 30th day of May, 1868, is designated for the purpose of strewing with flowers or otherwise decorating the grave of comrades who died in defense of their country during the late rebellion and whose bodies now lie in almost every city, village, hamlet, and churchyard in the land. In this observance, no form or ceremony is prescribed, but posts and comrades will in their own way arrange such fitting services and testimonials of respect as circumstances may permit. We are organized comrades as our regulations tell us for the purpose among other things of preserving and strengthening those kind and fraternal feelings which have bound together the soldiers, sailors and marines who united to suppress the late rebellion. What can aid more to assure this result than by cherishing tenderly the memory of our heroic dead who made their breasts a barricade between our country and its foes? Their soldier lives were the reveille of freedom to a race in chains, and their deaths the tattoo of rebellious tyranny in arms. We should guard their graves with sacred vigils. All that the consecrated wealth and taste of a nation can add to their adornment and security is but a fitting tribute to the memory of her slain defenders. Let no wanton foot tread rudely on such hallowed grounds. Let pleasant paths invite the coming and going of reverent visitors and fond mourners. Let no vandalism of avarice or neglect, no ravages of time, testify to the present or to the coming generations that we have forgotten. As a people, the cost of a free 
and undivided republic. If other eyes grow dull and other hands slack and other hearts cold in the solemn trust, ours shall keep it well as long as the light and warmth of life remain to us. Let us then, at the time appointed, gather around their sacred remains and garland the passionless mounds above them with choicest flowers of springtime. Let us raise above them the dear old flag they saved from dishonor. Let us, in this solemn presence, renew our pledges to aid and assist those whom they have left among us as sacred charges upon the nation's gratitude, the soldiers and sailors, widow and orphan. It is the purpose of the Commander-in-Chief to inaugurate this observance with a hope it will be kept up from year to year, while a survivor of the war remains to honor the memory of his departed comrades. He earnestly desires the public press to call attention to this order and to lend its friendly aid in bringing it to the notice of comrades in all parts of the country in time for simultaneous compliance therewith. Department commanders will use this every effort to make this order effective and by the order of John A. Logan, Commander-in-Chief. I'd like now to introduce the Westboro Board of Selectmen Chairman Alan Edinburgh to say a few words. Good day and welcome. I want to thank the Westboro Veterans Advisory Board for organizing today's events and for the opportunity to say a few words on behalf of my fellow members of the Town of Westboro Select Board. This is the second year that, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we are commemorating Veterans Day in this way by video. Without the visits and ceremonies at our cemeteries where veterans lay in rest and honor, without the parade, Without the community gathering to collectively remember and show respect to those who gave their lives in service to our country, to our shared ideals, to us. It's natural to miss the ceremony and sense of community we feel when we gather, young and old, to pay our respects. We must not, however, miss the meeting of the solemn day. Today, we honor those that died in service to our country and our community. Those who, when called, step forward to protect and defend our nation and the freedoms, rights, and responsibilities we hold in our hearts as Americans. As we emerge from the isolation and separation of the pandemic, I hope and believe that we have a greater appreciation for our connections with family and friends. So, as we honor those who died in service, let us also honor their families and friends. They too have sacrificed in ways that we cannot measure. The loss of a spouse, parent, sibling, or child leaves a hole that even with the love and support from family, friends, and community can never be completely filled. Let us honor those who sacrifice, whose sacrifice and service is living with this loss. Today is a day that many of us will gather safely with family and friends. We'll celebrate the unofficial start of summer, we will share our lives and our families and our events. I ask on this day that we take a few moments to reflect and remember our fallen veterans, members of our community, our families. I ask that we do so with grace, gratitude, and honor. With grace, let us remember and mourn the lives lost, lives lost in service to others and to ideals that define who we are as a nation and a community. Remember that each fallen soldier leaves behind family and friends who feel their loss every day. With gratitude, let us be thankful for their service and sacrifice to us and our nation, to needs and mission greater than any one person, family, or community. Take a moment to express our thanks for the freedoms, ideals, and rights protected by their service. Honor, to truly honor those named on these memorials let us not take our freedoms, rights, and responsibilities as citizens for granted. Let each of us commit and recommit to actively participate in our government and our community. Register and vote. Volunteer for a town committee with a nonprofit, with your house of worship, or with any organization working to improve our community. Please participate in the discussions of issues and ideas that impact our lives. Share your thoughts with those of us serving you in leadership and representative roles. 
Connect your passions to our community. Make your voice and your heart heard. Let today not just be a single day of commemoration and remembrance. Our actions, each and every day, can and will honor those who gave all. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman. I now invite Town Manager Christy Williams to say a few words. Thank you, and thank you for allowing me to be a part of this year's Memorial Day celebration. Westboro's observance of this important day is a source of great pride in our community as we honor those who courageously served our country. This celebration is an opportunity for us to remember our veterans who fought for the many freedoms that we enjoy every day. As we move closer to a time when we can come together to honor those who gave their lives for our country, I am honored to celebrate with you in your homes. We offer this virtual program as an opportunity to reflect on our respect and appreciation for the men and women who fought for our country. We thank them for their service and for their bravery. We thank them and their families for their sacrifice and their commitment to our country. I hope that you enjoy Westboro's 2021 Memorial Day ceremony and to our veterans and their families celebrating at home, please know that the entire community is sending you our love and support in honor of your service and in honor of the service of your loved ones who are lost. Thank you. Thank you, Christy. Police Chief Jeff Lurie will say a few words. Your police department is honored to be a part of 2021's West Rose Memorial Day festivities as we do honor uh, those that made the ultimate sacrifice for our country. We realize that these are unprecedented times. Uh, we look forward to next year uh, getting back to normal uh, in, in celebrating and remembering and honoring those in person. Uh, Deputy Chief Minardi. On behalf of the men and women of the Westboro Police Department, we wish you have a safe and healthy Memorial Day. Please take a moment to remember those that have paid the ultimate sacrifice in defense of our great nation. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Fire Chief Patrick Purcell will now come up for a few remarks. Good morning. My name is Patrick Purcell, and I proudly serve as your Fire Chief here in the town of Westboro. I'd like to thank you all for taking time out of your day to recognize and honor all of those who have paid the ultimate sacrifice in service to this nation. I would like to take just a moment and recognize all of those among us within our community who have served or are currently serving, as well as anyone who has lost their lives in service to this great nation. The members of the Westboro Fire Department are humbled by your sacrifices, as we know they are great, and we commend the demonstrations of courage and strength that you have no doubt shown throughout the most difficult of times. I would ask all residents to take some time today to honor those that served our nation and are no longer with us, and also to honor those who live with the consequences of war, including trauma, both physical and emotional, from an organization that often faces diff different types of challenges and tragedies, we understand that soldiers live with memories that may keep them from sleep at night. We ask that you not forget the fallen, but also do not forget those that are still living amongst us today. And I'd like to thank you for this opportunity to speak today. Thank you, Chief. Uh, Andy Turok from the Veterans Advisory Board will now announce the honorary Memorial Day Grand Marshals. The Grand Marshals for the 2021 Westboro Virtual Memorial Day Parade are from our greatest generation. They are World War II veterans, Jack Crane, United States Army. Milton Goldstein, United States Army. Chase Libby, United States Army. Warren McConnell, United States Army. Stephen Pratt, United States Army. And Anthony Visconti, United States Navy. We thank you all for your service. Thank you, Andy. At this time, the wreath will be presented by the members of the Westboro Veterans Advisory Board, followed by the raising of the flag and the playing of taps by Westboro High School buglers Vaishnavi Desai and Paige F. Estefan.
Hopefully they just have a little bit of play it out. It's got the flag. Present harm. Paul Harrigan from the West, Westboro Veterans Advisory Board will present the American Legion Scholarship to Westboro High School National Honor Society President, Cale Pelletier. Good morning. My name is Paul Harrigan. I'm the acting commander of American Legion Stowell Parker Post 163 in Westboro. Post 163 was started over 100 years ago with returning troops from World War I when they returned home to Westboro. It's traditional the American Legion Post 163 provides a scholarship to a worthy and deserving student from Westboro High School. This year, it's our pleasure to award the, the scholarship to Cale Pelletier, the National Honor Society President for 2021. Cale and the National Honor Society students have excelled in academics and support of the Westboro community. The most recent volunteer work provided by the National Honor Society was the distribution and lying of wreaths on the veterans' graves in Westboro. They did an outstanding job. So it's our pleasure, Kyle, to award you the scholarship this year from the American Legion. Congratulations. Thank you for the award. This is something which I can personally thank you for. So from the bottom of my heart and from the perspective of the society and our chapter, a society which has existed for also 100 years and a little more, I can say that we will wholeheartedly continue to assist in whatever ways we can. It is a time-honored tradition to assist with the placement and retrieval of cemetery flags. We will continue not only to just serve towards the ends of those who have died in the pursuit of the goals of this country, but also to follow in the principles which they espoused most endearingly, altruism, generosity, honor. To that extent, Mr. Chairman, we will continue to take up your charge of involvement in this town of service to the extent that we may produce and in the ends that we shall be good citizens with good hearts. Thank you for this award and on behalf of the society, thank you for the opportunities which you have presented us. Thank you, Kale, and a heartfelt congratulations. John Wesley Taylor from the United, First United Methodist Church will say the benediction. Happy Memorial Day to all. Let's bow our heads for prayer. Almighty God, this Memorial Day, 
we ask you to help us remember. We thank you for the strength and courage of the American people who have come through a year fighting the coronavirus. We think of this, the essential workers, the first responders who have given so much in caring for others. Especially we think of those who have given their lives to save the lives of others. Be with each of us as we remember those who have died over this past year. We will not forget them, we will honor them. And bless our Memorial Day holiday as a time to remember that we are united as Americans in honoring those who have given their lives for our freedom. Almighty God, help us remember the debt we owe to the men and women uh, that, is, that have laid down their lives for our freedom. Help us remember and honor their families as well for their sacrifice. Help us remember and honor wounded veterans and their families for their sacrifice. May these memorials be an everlasting reminder of the cost of our precious freedom. Bless those who come to this place and take a moment to remember the courage of those whose names are carved in these memorials. Almighty God, help us remember to, to support the many veterans organizations who do, who do such important work. Be with the veteran who comes home and feels like no one cares and is alone. Help us to help them. And we ask you, Lord, to be with us all this Memorial Day as we remember loved ones in heaven who cheer us on to be faithful, kind, and compassionate, to love and respect each other and work together as Americans. We ask you to bless America because we need to be inspired to be united and not divided, to be inspired by the heroes who have given their lives so that we could live in freedom. We thank you, God, for helping us to slow down and take the time to remember and be blessed. This we pray in your name. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Justin Souza, District Manager, Central Mass Vets, will now close the ceremony with brief remarks. Hello, my name is Justin Souza. I'm the Central Mass Veterans Service District Director and the um, main veterans agent for the town of Westboro. My uh, agent, John Galanaw, uh, serves in Westboro uh, part-time, and he is uh, responsible for organizing this fantastic virtual celebration for Memorial Day. Every day is a good day to thank a veteran. Memorial Day is the day that we think of the fallen service members uh, from our uniform services. How can we honor the fallen service members? As Chairman Allen mentioned, you can engage in community service, uh, participate in your government, or even um, serve in the uniformed services. Um, any type of civic engagement is important because those who have come before us and have fallen in action, they died protecting our way of life. Um, so take a moment this weekend on Memorial Day to think of any family members, friends, uh, or service member in your community that you may know who did fall and say a prayer for them. And remember, every day is a good day to thank a veteran. Memorial Day is the day to honor the fallen. Thank you. This concludes the 2021 Westboro Memorial Day observance. Thank you all for watching and have a great Memorial Day weekend.